Welcome back! The test realms are up with the next World of Warcraft minor content patch. So, although the notes have not been finalized yet for what we'll see on live servers, uh, here's a few of the changes you can look forward to in patch 3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3. First of all, there are several PvP-related changes that are going in. Probably the biggest change going in is the new Random Battleground system. This works very similarly to the Random Dungeon system. You basically queue up for a battleground and it will pick a random one for you and stick you in there. Upon completion of said battleground, you earn a bonus amount of honor. Now the bonus is higher if you win the battleground, but there is still a fairly significant bonus if you lose. On top of that, the first random battleground that you win each day will also reward you with 25 arena points and even more honor. So definitely a pretty cool incentive to go and use the random battleground feature if battlegrounds are your thing. Personally, I've always found the battlegrounds to be a little bit more entertaining than the arena system, so I'm definitely looking forward to this. Now this does replace the daily battleground quests the same way that the random dungeon system replaced the random heroic and random daily uh, dungeon systems. On top of this, they are phasing out the Marks of Honor system. All of the Battleground-related PvP items will now just cost Honor Points. Uh, they're obviously going to bring the cost of those up a little bit to compensate for the removal of the Marks of Honor, but you will be able to turn in all of your existing Marks of Honor for some extra Honor Points. So, overall, pretty good change that'll let you use the, the random Battleground feature to get all of your Honor Points and get your items uh, without having to worry about which one you're doing more randomly than another. Finally, the weekend holiday battleground features have been updated to give the same rewards as the new random battleground feature. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot get both the random battleground extra bonus as well as the weekend holiday, they're calling it call to arms now, bonus. Uh, so it really only matters if the weekend holiday battleground just happens to be your favorite. They're also making some fairly extensive changes to the way Wintergrass works. Now it's all pretty complicated, I'm not going to go into all the details here, but basically what it amounts to is that if one faction on a realm has been losing and losing and losing and losing and never gets any control of Wintergrass, uh, they actually make it easier for that faction to then take over Wintergrasp in the next battle. If you would like to know exactly what the Wintergrass changes are, there's a fairly in-depth post by Zarheim on the PvP discussion forums on the World of Warcraft US board, so you can go in there and read it, and he explains everything in detail. Moving on a bit, one very welcome change is that you will now be able to, in the Culling of Stratholm, tell Arthas and Jaina and Uther to just shut up and let me do the instance. Thank you! Now there are several class changes going in also, but the majority of them at this point have to do with raid buffs. A lot of the raid buffs that activate on a proc have been turned into just passive auras that the specific raid member gives. Now these are things like Abomination's Might, uh, Elemental Oath, Unleashed Rage, uh, Rampage, uh, Icy Talons, that sort of thing. Now there are a couple exceptions like Demonic Pact and Renewed Hope, uh, but those have been given longer durations and then a short internal cooldown. Basically, the idea behind all of this is to prevent these buffs from getting constantly spammed, refreshed, and refreshed, and refreshed, and refreshed. Now you might be thinking to yourself, who cares? And the answer is, you do, and here's why. Say you raid with an Enhancement Shaman. Let's say his name is Erg. Now Erg, like any good Enhancement Shaman, has plenty of haste and crit, so he's scoring a critical strike every half a second or so. That means that twice a second, you are receiving a buff called Unleashed Rage. Now. Every time you receive this buff, several things happen. First of all, the server has to recognize that you're receiving a buff. Second of all, any add-ons that you're running that check for that sort of thing will mark it down also. This is things like uh, buff bars, uh, recount, that sort of thing. All of those add-ons are going to recognize every single time you gain this buff. Recount in particular will then go and tell all of your raid members, Hey guys, I just got Unleashed Rage! Now imagine all that happening twice every second. I mean, Recount is just spazzing out, going, Oh my god, he is receiving the hell out of some Unleashed Rage. Your buff bars are going 15, 14, 15, 14, 15, 14, 15, 14. The server's going, Oh my god, Unleashed Rage! That, uh, that's an awful lot to deal with. And the end result is our good friend Lag. So, the ultimate goal behind this seemingly very minor, insignificant change is to drastically reduce the amount of spam that the combat log is seeing, the amount of spam that add-ons are seeing, and the amount of spam that the server is seeing to ultimately reduce lag. Now only time will tell how effective it will actually be, but you figure just one Enhancement Shaman can do all of that. What about the 10,000 that are probably doing stuff in your battle group right now, hmm? Now aside from that, there's a couple of other class changes that are going in that are worth mentioning. 
Blood Death Knight tanks. The cooldown on Will of the Necropolis is being removed, thereby creating an incredibly controversial change that everybody is complaining about right now, but will forget about in two months when they realize that it didn't actually do everything they claimed it was going to do. Protection Warriors. Revenge is going to be doing 50% more damage, which should help out with your whole, you know, not doing much damage while tanking thing. And also you're getting a little bit more stamina. High five! Warlocks. Life tap now scales off of your spell power instead of your spirit, which is important. And the immolate dot can crit. Rogues. There are a whole bunch of subtlety changes going in that I don't know enough about subtlety to comment on, so you should go read them. There's a handful of changes for some other classes as well, including a bunch of changes for Death Knights, but since you guys kind of get moved around every single patch anyway, I figure you should probably just go read up on them yourself. The last change I'm going to mention for patch 3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3.3 is a new guy by the name of Frozo the Renowned. This little guy's job in life is to take your frozen orbs and turn them into something that sucks a bit less. This includes Eternals, uh, Rune Orbs, Crusader Orbs, and most importantly, Frost Lotus. Yes, finally those little buggers will be much, much easier to come by, thereby making raiding a significantly smaller pain in the ass. Well, that's about all I've got for this week. Thank you very much for watching. I will leave you now with a glimpse into, perhaps, a dismal and dark and terrifying future in which Arthas has been defeated and succeeded by none other than the Bear King.